how I fell in love with a married man. Like, this married man is a very popular actress's husband. Like, <laughs> God, oh, no, sorry, but drag me. Enter C Street. Like, the actress is very popular, but I'm going to keep her name very private. But she's this kind of actress that used to hide their men. I didn't even know that she was married. You know, you don't even know that this person was married. Trust me. So, guys, I met this guy. He wasn't even acting like a married man. First of all, he wasn't wearing a ring. Second of all, he didn't tell me he was married. So when we met, he was so nice, as usual. He paid for my stuff. <laughs> Tinubu. Once you pay for my stuff like this, I don't have a choice as to give you my number. <laughs> because you've saved me cost. He paid for my stuff. And what I bought that day was over... Four hundred something thousand. Ah, someone just came and paid for it. So it was like a relief. We got talking. This guy was so nice, you know, so sweet. You know the funniest part? We talk twenty four hours. We do video call. He's practically. In fact, when you check my caller, he's the most called person. So there's, there was no way he would have been married. He didn't even show any married man syndrome. We talk in the night, like you know this midnight call we just to have with our boyfriends in those days. I was having this midnight call with this guy. So there was nothing that was showing that he was married. Like, guess what? Um, there was a day we see he was asking me questions. He was like, um, if he gets married to me tomorrow, will I be able to give him access to my phone? And I said, instead of us to be asking the question, let's just swap phone. I gave him his phone. He gave me, uh, I gave him my phone. He gave me his phone. Nothing was inside. Nothing was inside my own. Nothing indicated marriage. Guess what even treat me? I was his wallpaper. I was his screen saver. Ah! <laughs> I was already planning wedding date, so I said, ah, this is my man, because he was about um, 44, and he said he has never been married before and never had kids before. This guy was so cute and very, very rich. Yeah, very, very rich. So, you know, as a gold digger, now, I fell in love, but genuinely, I was in love with this guy because he, he could interact, he had money, he had the physique, he spoke me, he took me to a lot of places in Lagos. <laughs> Lagos people, it will not be well with a lot of you. It will not be well with a lot of you. Guess what? This guy was a Yoruba man. Who, me, that my mother said that if it's not a bold man, I should not even bring man. I was already thinking of how I'm going to even switch my culture and become a Yoruba girl because this guy was just too fine, he was too slick. I said, I don't just let you go like that. I mean, Mary, whether you're Yoruba, you're anything, I don't mind. Love knows no boundary. Love knows no... You know, once you're in love like this, you'll be looking for some season and you'll cover up. So, we got dating for like um, two months. I know a lot of you will be wondering. And I don't knock. And I don't knock. We don't knock. That was the most beautiful thing about this man. He said, I want to keep you for marriage. I don't want to, you know, I don't want you to think that I'm for you. I'm here because of... I'm like, wow, it's very rare before you see a young single guy who doesn't want to be with you. I'm like, wow, that's interesting. That's interesting. So he was just a fun person. He did everything a man should do. Spoiled me with money, gifts. Oh, God. Ah, God. <laughs> oh, God. It will not be well with a lot of married men. It will not be well with you. Because what he did was he came and rose my feeling. Feeling that I have buried. I said, I, I, I don't even want to fall in love again. This man came and rose the feeling up. Led me on without telling me that he was married. So we're going to two months. By then, he was about to break his promises of, oh, I don't want to have sex with you. That, within that two months, that was when even me, myself, I was feeling him. You know, this guy has been so sweet. I wanted to, I wanted to have him. Yeah, I wanted to have him. Because when you're, when you're sweet to a woman, why would I want to have you? Why he kept resisting the urge. I'm like, wow, I like this guy. He has some sort of self-control, you know? You know when a woman is all... Ah! It was the day he touched my... It's like, wow, you're so soft. I can't wait for the day I'm going to have you, like, bang you, but I want to make you my wife. You know, all those things are just in my head. Teeny, tada, teeny, tada. All this sweet nonsense. So, it was getting to, like, two months and two weeks. I was like, I don't know what she looked like. like I don't know. I have a lot of fantasies and imagination. We had kissed, we had smooshed, but we had not done the do. For me, at that point, I was desiring him. I don't know why he was doing me long truths. I was longing for him. So, he now said he wants to make it special. Have I traveled to South Africa before? 
before I said no. He said, okay, where's my dream country? I said, I would actually love to go to South Africa. I've heard so much about it. And he said, where else? That he's the one that suggested South Africa. I said, I've heard so much about Zanzibar and my head is in Tanzania, but I've not had the time and I don't want to go alone because they said that place is a love, love, love place. Let me not go, let go, not kill me. So the reason why I've not really been to Tanzania, Zanzibar is because I don't, I don't have anybody here to travel with. He now said, good. Don just said, we're going to Tanzania. Hey, I don't want to close. I'm going to use Pepe Ona in Zanzibar. Do you like in Zanzibar? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't keep techno music. I'm going to use Shake the Internet. In Zanzibar, my plan was to post his hand. After posting his hand, I would post his finger. You know all those Pepe there? Oh, I'm like that. We show you people shake it. I wanted to be posting every part of his body, different body parts. Oh, God. I packed my load. We had fixed the dates for the travel. I was so excited. I had called my mom to say, Mama, I'm going to Zanzibar. Come on, pack up these children, please. I don't want stress. <laughs> I didn't have children again. I was now a single girl. He made me feel like a single girl. I was even remember that I was a mother. My mom would call me, your son wants to speak to you. Wait, I, I, I'm, I'm focused on love. Please, you guys should just let me be. I want to I want to focus on my man. <laughs> So he was like in Zanzi, but that's where he's going to show me all his skills. Ah! This guy wanted to keep me fantasy. Z word in my head. Z word in my head. I was imagination was turning me on you. And I said, ah, I was imagining how I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to leak. I'm going to, ah. He even asked me a very crazy question. Have you ever swallowed before? Like, I said, no. He said, would you like to have mine? I said, I drink it. I will drink it. So we drink it like you got. So I had all those crazy fantasies of going to drink. Oh, God help me. A whole relationship has part going to drink. <laughs> I had the fantasy. I will drink it. They put it inside the cup. I put it in the fridge. I will drink it. Is that not love? That's love. So I had all those fantasy until four days to our trip. I got a call. <sighs> Normally, I don't pick strange number, but that person had called me 12 times. I'm like, who is this person calling me? Am I holding your placenta? I first used true caller check. The name wasn't sounding very familiar. You know, maybe the person used a different scene or whatever. I don't know. So I called back after I saw like 12 to 13 missed calls. I was even speaking from the hi, good evening, how are you doing? I saw a missed call from me, and the person was like, leave my husband alone. You know this Nollywood that we get to watch? It happens sometimes. So. You know, if it was a Nigerian movie, you just hear dun 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 dun. I said, pardon. She said, leave my husband alone. The man you're about to travel to Tanzania with is my husband. We've been married for over six years. <laughs> I said, I'm not dating any married man. Then she called his name in full. And I said, please, can I get evidence that you guys are actually married? Because the man I am dating, he has nothing like married. Do you know the way married men? So she now asked me, Mama, what's up? I said, yes, Mama, what's up? She now said, they're sending me pictures. It was when she sent me pictures with them. It was like Nigerian movie. I recognized them. I was like, fuck. I sent her a voice and that's your husband? She said, yes. Legally married. We have, she sent me all their documents, court married, traditional married, white wedding, but it was coded. They actually were in England. Let me know go and give out this actress. In fact, a lot of you do not even know that this actress is married because it was like a coded marriage. And I told her, honestly, I didn't know he was married. And she said, she knows because she has gone through all our charts and so many times she overhear him talking to me at night, but she just pretends like she's sleeping. I know to that I am so sorry. We've not even had said it doesn't matter. It wasn't your fault. I told her I'm going to stay clear. Even my profession doesn't, it's not going to allow me to date a married man. And I told her it's going to hurt because I'm already in love with him. But for the fact that you were not rude, you were not, you know, I'm just going to let him go. So I had to block him off, avoided him. It hurt. I cried for days. You know, I'm not going to lie. At some point, I started wishing that something bad was going to even happen to the actress. Let the man just be with you. Let me just snatch him completely. But unfortunately, 
that one from my imagination. She's still alive, strong and hearty. I think they've even given birth right now, sir. You're my man. God, 